Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to talk to you about the last week or so in Apple news and what's going on right now. First off, I wanted to address a lot of people are asking me uh, for a house tour, office tour, and I will do that. I'm just waiting to get some upgrades, change some things up. I how much of an echo there is in here, so I placed blankets everywhere on the ground, and I've ordered the sound absorber foam for the walls, but until it gets here, there's not much to show you. So once I have something presentable for you, I'll make a video. Apple has made a very monumental decision this week that's a little bit crazy, got me a little bit nostalgic. The iPod is officially dead. So the iPod Nano and Shuffle. Apple will not be updating those anymore. In fact, they completely removed them from their website and it really got me thinking. I mean, what was your first iPod experience? When I first actually had my first iPod, I want it in a drawing at like a church youth group when I was a kid. So that was like one of my first interactions with Apple. I mean, I used to play on the old Apple computers in school, Oregon Trail and stuff like that. But owning an Apple product, my first one was the Nano second generation. So I wanted that. I was a magic product. It was nice. So to see those nanos go is sad. Now, the iPod Touches Apple Online actually doubled the storage and they're still alive, but they probably will not be updating those as the iPod line just today is unnecessary. If people want an iPod, a dedicated music device, usually they'll do something really cheap and the iPods are just a little too expensive, uh, but most people just use their phones. So it's just a category that's not very relevant today and I totally see their decision to remove it. The Nano hasn't been updated since 2012 and the shuffle since 2010. So, you know, it's something that I'm surprised even stuck around for this long. So I'm sure all of you guys know what the HomePod is. It's Apple's new product, the speaker for your home, the Alexa competitor, coming later December this year. But new firmware released for this device actually reveals several secrets, and it's very interesting to see Apple working on updating this device before it even hits our homes. So a couple developers have been exploring inside of the firmware released, and there are several references to an LED matrix display. So that little circle on top of the HomePod could theoretically be used to display certain types of information. And right now it's sort of a Siri to know when she's activated, when she's talking with you, kind of like a little notification light to there, but it could theoretically be used for weather, some notifications. It, it isn't a very sharp display, that's for sure, by the looks of it, but it could certainly be used to display information. And with updates, we may see that functionality expanded slightly, who knows? But for now, it's a display that Apple hasn't talked about whatsoever, but it is there. Also, the HomePod itself is basically an iPhone without a display. It's got all of the internals of one. In fact, Springboard is replaced by Soundboard. So it's an iPhone without a display, and it's even referred to in the iTunes store as an iPhone SE for whatever reason. So the HomePod is coming. It's going to be much more sophisticated than you think as a device, and I'm so excited to get that into my home personally. And a funny glitch actually showed up on Apple's website after they discontinued the iPod line and removed it from their website. The iPod mini that was discontinued in 2005 actually showed up on their website and you were able to order it with a two to three week wait time. I'm very curious if I actually place an order, would I be able to receive one? I would love to get a brand new and package one. Maybe Apple's just trying to get rid of some stock, but no, it was just a glitch. It's just kind of funny that that showed up on their website now in 2017. And a Reddit user actually found that Apple is still selling the adapter for the iPhone Bluetooth headset. This little guy that looks like an AirPod back from 2007, now uh, to a 30 pin adapter. So you could theoretically use it with your iPhone 4S, but I wonder with an adapter, would it work with the iPhone 6? seven and seven plus. That would be an interesting test to see, but just funny that Apple is still stuck in the past in some of their things and you can still maybe use this with iOS 10, iOS 11, who knows? And the flash player is finally dying. I remember back in the day when you would talk with an Android guy, and yeah, I mean, Android guy, the guy in your group that uses an Android phone when everyone else uses iPhone, he would argue that Flash was one of the biggest reasons to stick with Android. And it's funny now to see that Steve Jobs was right. Flash is dying. It is set to be discontinued in 2020. Not discontinued, it'll still work, just won't receive any more updates. And Flash has been riddled with bugs, security holes. It, it's just terrible. So to see that replaced with HTML5 as it should have been from the beginning, is it's very satisfying. I'm sure Steve Jobs would have loved to see that today. Uh, he hated Flash Player. I don't even know why, but he just refused to adopt it into the iPhone. I remember on this channel, we had videos on how to get that actually working physically on your device with the jailbreak. So videos, games, advertisements, you'll see these little squares with flash in the middle and just click on them 
and it will load Flash. It's kind of interesting to see the evolution of that, but Flash Player will be gone in 2020. So guess what? Jailbreaking isn't dead, apparently for the Apple Watch anyways. The Apple Watch has been jailbroken. It's been demoed at DEF CON, a hackers conference by an Apple Fried team. So they showed off a jailbreak. So they were actually able to get health data, messages, photos, calendar entries, you know, access to all of these things Apple restricts to developers right now, which is very interesting. I could see some very interesting tweaks being developed as a result of this. Would anybody use it? Probably not. Apple would patch it right away, but it would be interesting to see custom watch faces on your device, getting something that nobody else has on an Apple watch. That would have been interesting. And check this out, guys. A phone you never knew you needed has been released with two displays. How cool does that sound? The Maizu Pro 7 has been released in certain markets. Well, up for pre-order right now. I'll be getting it, so that's for sure. And it has a display on the back, a very tiny one that's going to be used for things such as weather, notifications, messages, also to be used as a selfie camera. You'll be able to see your face before you take that picture, which is a little bit interesting because everybody has a selfie camera just for that purpose, but I guess you'll be getting better quality pictures with that rear camera. So very interesting phone, very interesting concept. They definitely will be getting it. I like that this company is doing something different. Uh, if you remember, we had that video about all these iPhone 7 Plus clones. Companies just need to innovate, do stuff like this that catches your eye. It's very interesting, makes me want to go and buy that phone just because it does something unique. And talking about iPhone 7 Plus clones, there's another one to add to the list. This new Xiaomi has been released for $220 in Chinese markets. And uh, again, it joins the list of phones that have a very similar camera sensor to the iPhone 7 Plus. So from a distance, it would be hard to distinguish those unless you really knew what you were looking for. Again, basically using a phone that costs way less than it should, but looks like you're using the more expensive one. Gotta give them props, so they put the flash sensor on the opposite side, doing something different at least. So there it is, guys. Just the latest little updates for you what's going on right now in this tech world. I'm really, really looking forward to the iPhone 8 in a couple months. Uh, maybe some new products in there too. Apple TV 5 is rumored to happen. So that's going to be interesting. But for now, not too much going on. We'll have some interesting videos for you soon though. Peace.